What's up everybody? On this episode of Something New in the Teak Light Basement Bar, 88 Tequila, this is no stranger to the Teak Life Basement Bar top. Anyway, we're trying the Añejo this time. Don the Blanco, Don the Repo. What's this one gonna be like? Stay tuned, watch this episode. What's going on everybody? I'm Don Ferguson and welcome to the Teak Life Basement Bar for another episode of Something New on the Teak Life YouTube channel where we try liquors from around the world. So if this seems like your kind of thing, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn the notifications on so that way when we upload a new video, you don't miss any of the action. So what are we trying today? If you're a fan of the platform and you've watched some of the videos you know i love tequila and you know that we have tried this brand before 88 tequila the blanco the repo now we're trying the añejo and i've been waiting for this for a while you know it's been sitting on the shelf just marinating and it's time so how did we like the blanco how did we you know well here we go how did how did we like the repo what do you think do you think we liked it finish this last night because I wanted to compare some tasting notes um but yeah this this is gone the Blanco I don't even have the bottle but you can check out those past episodes by clicking on a link here or at the end of the video all right so let's get the action started we're gonna pour we're gonna allow this Añejo to breathe now this is 88 tequila and oh I did I did one of my famous healthy pours, which is fantastic. The aroma is just oozing out. This is a lowland tequila from what I've read. It is now, I believe, 1437, and we are correct. Now I'm 1437. So a lot of the story, you know, between behind the brand is going to be on those other episodes. You know, the owner, Harry Demon. Um, how him and his wife traveled around. I'm not going to go into that. We're just going to do a straight up tasting because I love a good Añejo. And it's very rare that we get an Añejo on this platform. But watch those previous episodes so that way you can learn a little bit about the story behind 88 Tequila and this bottle and stuff like that. But we are just going to nose it. Now this is from what I've read made at a well-known distillery um so i guess they created it with don roberto and harry demon you know he's they won some awards with 88 tequila doing some good things out there in cali if you go online you can order this all over the place but we're nosing it but look at that it's like a very nice light you know amber copper you know um there's not well yeah the legs are are trickling down so beautiful absolutely beautiful what i'm getting on the nose some wood so i'm, I'm definitely getting some wood i don't know specifically what it's aged in if it's white american oak um but i'm definitely getting the wood sweet agave obviously you're gonna get those i got man i really did i really did pour uh, this is, hey, you know, why not? But I'm also getting a vanilla, maybe a pecan, you know, a nuttiness. Um, very rich, but it's not overpowering. What I really like, too, is the alcohol. You're not getting a lot of ethanol. Um, you know, it's very fair, very mild, well-balanced, so really good. Let's just go in, see what we're, what we're dealing with. We're going to swish it around so that way we coat the palate. Mmm. Wow. That's very light. It's very light. There is not a kick um, on the finish. Not peppery whatsoever. Just a mild pepper. You know, maybe um, a little black pepper, maybe white. But it's not overbearing. This is like extremely smooth. You get the agave. You're getting some oakiness to it, um, obviously, because it's rested. We'll get into how long it's rested. I do know that. Mm. 
Mmm. That's actually, that, that's really good. I mean, th this is, man, their Repo was good, their Blanco, very good, but the Añejo, this is actually phenomenal. You're getting the vanilla, some nuttiness. I, I, I want to equate it to the, like a pecan, a um, little sweetness to it. Um, almost a dark chocolate on the finish. A little, little spice on the finish, but not definitely not overpowering. And you're also getting some fruitiness. Wow. Okay, this is, <laughs> this is really dangerous. And the reason why, because it's extremely smooth, it is extremely palatable. So what I mean by palatable is, you know, you want another drink. You want to try it again because it is just just really that good. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving the color. I'm loving the flavors. Um, this one is by far, and, and they have a great portfolio you know, um, at 88 tequila. There's no doubt about it. But this, crushing it. This is by far one of the best. And if people don't know about this Añejo, and you really like an Añejo tequila, um, man, this is phenomenal. You gotta know about it. So, like I said, I don't know if it is white American oak, if, if they're using a different barrel select uh, to age the tequila in, but, I do know that it's rested anywhere between 12 and 18 months. Now what's interesting about that is, you know, with 12 months, there, there's a big variance. I mean, a six month gap, you can get some more flavors um, from the barrel that they use in 18 months. So what I'm thinking is if I got one at the 12 month mark compared to the 18 month, they could have some different properties. And it's almost like a store barrel pick if you think about it because you're gonna get a little bit more depth and character, maybe a little more boldness of that, that oak barrel coming through. So it can absolutely change it slightly or tremendously. I would love to be able to know, you know, if it was a situation, if this was bottled at 12 months and then have one lined up at 18 months and compare the two. Because it's almost then comparing a repo, a mid repo, and an añejo. And truly all I'm doing is just making an excuse to drink more. That, that That's really what it is. Because this añejo, this is going to be a fun night because this is whew, absolutely fantastic, marvelous. Harry, great job. I'm really loving this. Um, I'm going to definitely have another pour because it's that good. But there's great tones in this. Check this company out. Check out their Añejo, their Reposado. I think great price points, but this by far, champion. So that wraps up another episode of something new here in the Teak Light Basement Bar where we tried 88 Tequila and their Añejo expression and just phenomenal. Absolutely 100% Teak Life approved. Make sure to follow us on social media, Instagram, Facebook. Sometimes we go live. You can do that by going to the website. And if you have something that you think belongs here in the Teak Life Basin Bar to do a tasting, reach out to us. You can do that from the website. I have a little bit more. I'm going to finish this. And don't be surprised if the next time you see this bottle is half gone. Like tomorrow I'm talking about. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the Teak Life YouTube channel. And we will see you again very soon. Life is too short to drink bad liquor. Make better choices, people. See ya.